lots more playthrough on Metal Gear Survive. This time we are going into the dust again. <laughs> and uh, this time we're going to find a uh, one of those information boxes that uh, we've been running around taking care of this whole time up until now. So we found one that's uh, deeper into the dust. It was right around that place where we found that nurse. So um, without further ado, here we go. Alright, so starting off, we are right here at the dust. I wanted to spare you guys the, you know, all running all the way there. Seems to be our only mode of transportation right now, so I didn't want you guys to have to go do that with me. But here we are. Our markers already showed up, so we're really, really close. time up, up, uh, I definitely waited for that marker to show up before I uh, attack these guys. So, uh, again, these boxes, they have uh, recipes and things like that that you won't, like, normally find out in the field elsewhere. So, you know, I do recommend opening these boxes up and see what goodies they have inside. Because you can't make it if you don't know how to, so... Solid 5, you've seen these places, they look really familiar, and they are. You know, I'm not going to give it away now, but um, if you recognize it, it's for us. <laughs> There's a reason you can recognize it. So if you notice, I'm looking down, because that little guy right there, if you get too close to these things, they'll just kind of come back to life and then <laughs> try to take you out. So I keep a close eye on those, uh, especially since I've been through this one, you know, a few times already. Just to get better at it, you know, that's, that's the only reason I've, I've gone through these missions like three, four times already, just because I, I kind of want to match the this. And not for any particular reason, just for me, because honestly I don't plan on finishing it, so it's just, you know, I want to see how fast I can complete these, these first missions, the first few. And like I said a, a few videos back, I've kind of reached my end with Metal Gear Survive, I think. It's 
so this is uh, towards the end of any missions that I've, I've decided. All right, I think that's enough. It's enough for me to have made a decision on whether or not I'm going to uh, try to complete the game or not. Because I did mention before that there are a few other games that I am way interested in, um, great interested in playing. Um, the three that I've come to a decision for. Sinuous Sacrifice, Hellblade, that one, I want that one. Um, the other one is uh, Colossus, that one for sure, and then Horizon. I didn't get a chance to play those. Uh, for the Colossus in particular, it's just, it's a remastered game. They, they've redone it in beautiful graphics that the PS4 will let you will, will allow it to. And so that one for sure, I didn't get a chance to play play the original which was a, a, a bummer to me because I really wanted to play it. It looked absolutely amazing. And um, what really sealed the deal for me is uh, I watched the movie way back in the day. It was called uh, Rain Over Me with uh, Adam Sandler and Don Cheadle. And uh, Adam Sandler was playing that game. And I saw it and I was like, man, I got to get that game. <laughs> I got to get it. Just for the nostalgia part and um, the fact that I couldn't get it back in the day because I didn't have my own money. And um, if I wanted a game, it had to be, you know, you know, but it, it had to be, the money had to allow, it. not my own, you know, my parents, you know, my mom in particular. So it was, yeah, I couldn't get it. I couldn't, you know, there was no good reason for me to have it. So I had to just kind of bite the bullet and let it go. But now I got my own money, so I'm not letting it go. I'm getting it. going to finish this series this series out and then I'll get started on uh, those other games and I'm still using the same old strategy tossing that Kuban energy letting them uh, you know kind of wander <laughs> wander towards it and then I strike them from behind now in this this room right here there are usually two but I only saw that one right and so I'm just kind of, you know, walking around, collecting stuff, you know, trying to be quiet because I know he can't be gone. And so I'm just kind of looking around and I see him and I'm <laughs> trying to hide behind this pillar. And he's coming up the stairs. He's being really slow about it. And I apologize for that because, uh, my gosh, there's nothing I can do about it. So you guys just have to suffer through it. And I, I'm sorry. <laughs> see me and freak the hell out. And you see that little guy right there? Get too close to him, he will take you out. So, I think I'll, I'll take him before he takes me in get that good old Kuban here. Supply yourself with oxygen by using Kuban energy. You can supply yourself with oxygen from your eye Whenever I was going into these ruins for the first time, it kind of reminded me of uh, that movie I Am Legend when Will Smith had went into that bank and, you know, he's sneaking around, got his light and everything. I thought what I was going to encounter was something along those lines. I'm sneaking around and all of a sudden, I looked, I panned to, you know, to the left or the right, and it was going to be a freaking stupid-sized horde right there. And they, I thought they were going to notice me, so I was, I snuck around a lot the first time I went through, and uh, I think I died because I was taking too much time out trying to be careful not to make noise, and I ran out of oxygen <laughs> and died out there. That, that would be the absolute worst to die in a place like that. God dang, dude. It would be the worst. I'm just waiting. Just waiting for him to turn around. And so when you encounter these for the first time, you don't think that you could 
you know, one shot him from the back. Turns out you can. So. And that was my first time trying it because I had no idea. You know, I thought I was going to have to fight that. Preemptive attack again. He's stuck in a weird place on the wall, <laughs> so I'm trying to <laughs> try to get to a place where I can, you know, get the energy. I'm not wasting any time. I know that uh, I took out pretty much all the enemies that would have given me issues on the way out, and no new ones have shown up, so I figure I'm in the clear, so I can just try to get the heck up out of it. Leaving all that, those, the, the good supplies behind, just because I'm just trying to com complete the mission. Trying to get the heck up out of there. Here we go with this guy again, walking all the way around him <laughs> so he can't get my leg. If he does wake up. And here we are. You see this massive freaking... Ugh. This massive thing. So, spoiler ahead. I will be but you know what that is, how it came to be, and what detail actually is. I'll wait till the end for that. But uh, this thing is, is absolutely massive. And, you know, you don't think that you'll be able to defeat it. However, the story, the story, you know, it will allow for you to be able to take that huge thing down. It's enormous. I first saw it, I was like, dude, what? Why? <laughs> I have a spear. Why is there this thing that I, I most likely can't defeat? Why is that thing, you know? Pay attention to your stamina. You should rest before you're out of gas. Yeah. Don't waste any time. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, yep. I have a gun, I have a rocket launcher, I got nothing. I'm, uh, you know, pretty well done with it, with this thing. So, alright, we have our memory box. We're heading back to the base so Virgil can take a look at it, possibly get his, uh, some of his memory back. Yeah, this landscape, it looks super familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, if you played 5, because they told you it was a, a different dimension, you know, it's just, you're like, well, this can't be it. This can't be what I think it is. Pay it is. It is. And I'll tell you why. After this. Being dehydrated will and so if you don't want ability. any spoilers, you know, don't watch it to the end, but if you do want the spoilers on what's going on, why, you know, why that big thing is, where you're at really, then just wait till the end. I'll, I'll definitely explain it all. I'll try to be as quick as possible, but I'll try to um, include 
some uh, some details on what what's going on. And again, um, it was I went to another guy's channel or gal. I'm not sure. Um, just want to make sure I'm not offending anybody, but I went to another person's channel and uh, went through all that. Found out what was going on. The memory board you recovered contained data on that massive creature you encountered. The Karen Corps called it the Lord yeah. of Dust. The King of Monsters. According to their records, several of their members were killed in its attacks. But it's not all bad news. Other data in this memory board has enabled us to restore it's our large bad, cargo though. recovery ability. We can now secure the wormhole digger. The digger will enable us to generate a large wormhole, allowing us to contact Good Luck and. He just wants out. <laughs> he wants out, dude. And I don't blame him. You could, sucks. but the captain's mission isn't come. That settles it. Let's go get this digger. The wormhole digger is located at. Bree, when we go back, you'll let the injured and the civilians go first, right? You really need to ask me that? First, we gotta secure this thing. Virgil, where's it at? <laughs> Virgil? Oh, don't tell me. You're annoyed because you keep getting interrupted? Are you? I am not easily annoyed. We've marked the location of the digger on the map. Take a look. Alright guys, so spoilers. So, you're not actually in another dimension. You're in the future, okay? Um, that Lord of Dust, apparently, um, before that thing, you know, things went to crap, they developed these nanomachines, right? And uh, they were supposed to heal. Apparently, the nanomachines took on a life of their own. That was the, the Lord of Dust, right? And that's, you know, where you are is where you were in uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. You're in Afghanistan. And so, once you finish with the Af Afghanistan part, you think you're going home. No, they take you to Africa. <laughs> and you have to fight your way. And then that's where you meet the Caron Corps. And one of the guys has been corrupted. And he's in the same boat as you are. The guy, or, guy or gal that you're playing. You know, he has that, that arm, you know. And um, once you defeat, defeat him... You find the, uh, the Serenopolis or whatever. I'm sorry, I'm so unprepared for this. But um, you find that large mecha that you had to fight in Metal Gear Solid Five. You find that and you use that to kill the uh, Lord of Dust. And just a, a note, the Lord of Dust can go in between times. He, he's not limited by time. He's the one that's creating those wormholes. And he can open them up and, you know, go to the future, to the past, wherever he wants to go. So, your mission is to defeat that thing so it can't keep causing havoc, right? So, that's the spoilers. Um, again, it's, it's, inter it's more interesting than I thought. thought you, you know, going to another dimension. Read me out. Turns out you're going to the future. You're in Afghanistan right now. You go to Africa and you're trying to defeat this, uh, this thing, this nan nano machine monster that kind of developed the life of its own, and, and I'm not sure what it's trying to do, but you know, it's just going between past and future, just causing all kinds of havoc. But anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed this, go ahead and uh, hit a like, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, go ahead and like and, and subscribe. <laughs> and if you really, really enjoy it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, it's been Dark Fox. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.